So for patients considering clinical trial, I'd be very wary of some of the misconceptions a lot of folks have when they're considering clinical trials. Patients are rightfully concerned about being a guinea pig, not getting the standard treatment, being randomized to something they don't want, or even a placebo. But patients should know that clinical trials go through a very arduous vetting process, and that it takes many months and sometimes years from a concept to get to a clinical trial so that a patient actually receives a new therapy. They're also monitored and watched quite closely, not only by the institution where it's run, but by the government, including the FDA. Concern about being a guinea pig or being randomized to a therapy that a patient doesn't want, those things need to be discussed very early and often through the course of the trial. And patients also need to know that they can always quit at any time. These trials are completely voluntary and that it's really up to the patient to decide what they want to do at any given point. I think a full disclosure of all the information available in the clinical trial, all the potential options that the patient has, both the clinical trial, standard therapies, other clinical trials, and also approaching things like comfort care and palliative care and not doing any anti-active cancer treatment. All these options need to be discussed with the patient really upfront, but then also throughout the course of their treatment.